Hi guys, I am just uh, doing some touch-ups to my PTG OS as well as uh, reinforcing the bolt sled with uh, aluminum pieces here. Um, yeah, so I'm just taking this opportunity to uh, show you the internals of the um, PTG OS. This is the PTG barrel. It's uh, nested within a 13 mm ID and 15 mm OD. Uh, they call aquarium PTG. Uh, just some e tape here to wedge it in to the dart gate. I made a mistake early in the mod, so I used some PTG strips to rebuild the dart guide. Um, what you see in here, this grey part, is uh, 13mm uh, Singa Plastics PVC pipe. Uh, I reamed out, uh, dremeled out the one side of the of the uh, dart gate or whatever you call it, this part the, so it would fit the 13mm uh, single plastics and uh, uh, the PTG that we use for barrels nests within this uh, single plastics 13mm PVC really well so what happens is uh, on the other side this is the plunger system um, I drum out uh, part of the stock bolt. This is a stub of a uh, barrel PTG, thick wall PTG that we use, and uh, a small circle of it as a dart pusher. So that makes sure that uh, it only catches one dart and not two darts. My initial version used a uh, uh, semicircle, but it was too weak, so I just uh, plugged that out and replaced it with a full circle that's bent so it can fit in. And uh, this would push in very nicely and close and you get a perfect seal. Alright, as for uh, how long this uh, barrel is, give me a moment. Alright, uh, this barrel is about, uh, is about eight, um, 8 and a half inches. Yeah, about eight, eight inches or so. Um, it does not come out from the orange barrel. It just appears uh, somewhere in the front here. All right. So uh, I'm just going to uh, epoxy on the aluminum pieces, give it a day or so, and then I'll have firing them up. All right. Uh, I have a new OS here. Uh, it's not exactly new. It's already been reinforced in bolt sled. There's already a 14 kilo spring in there. Uh, AR is already, already removed, um, but otherwise it's pretty much uh, stock. Yeah, um, it's using a stock breech, which doesn't make it very powerful. I'll be uh, modding it to make it into a PTG LS. Um, yeah, there'll be a slight difference between uh, this one and the previous one. Um, hopefully, I wouldn't make the same mistakes of destroying the dart gate. And I'll uh, be uh, using a Stefan clip. This is a Bob clip by uh, Puck Design. I'll be using a Stefan clip to uh, take measurements so as to optimize the SO a bit more. Yep. Hi again, I am uh, now reassembling uh, both PTG uh, long shots. This is uh, my version 2, which was an upgrade of my version 1. So I still have the clear PTG, PTG nested and PTG barrel. Um, yeah, same thing. I just uh, reinforced the bolt sled. Still 14 kgs inside. Uh, this uh, stock bolt part is actually very, very beaten up. I got it second hand off uh, another model who did a terrible, terrible job removing the AR. It actually cracked lots of places. It's been fixed. E tape epoxied over. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, uh, this you notice that this one here, I actually cut off the dart guide, this is a stock piece, I cut off the dart guide which is this part and then later I recreated it with PTG because I realized I needed it. So in my version 2 I've kept the dart guide but I've chopped off the front. The front was actually a part to support the um, Fox orange barrel that's replaced by this and in this one I have no outer barrel at all. I'm just using a ring of uh, PVC 
the support in front. Yep. So this is the PTG dot gate. Um, on the other side of the plunger tube, the plunger tube is here. This has a, a double spring, a 14 kilo stock. Uh, uh, sorry, not stock. 14 kilo uh, Hanzo spring, which is the Black Tech version two long shot spring, and a stock long shot long shot spring in there. So the total weight is about 18 kilos. Um, you notice um, in version, I will call this version 2.5, maybe version 3. I've cut the PTG, so I have an extra strip here that I've bent backwards and glued to the top. So this is my dart pusher. Hopefully it will be strong enough. Um, yeah, In my version 2.5 here, what I did, give me a moment, let me get this out. I actually cut it straight and then I glued a loop of a PTG in here to act as my dart pusher and I had to sand this part just the fine bit so it will chamber the darts and darts would then and the next dart wouldn't get caught here yep now I'm going to piece it all back together um, this dart gate and uh, this barrel here is getting a very very good seal I put it all together just now I tried blowing through I couldn't so I assume this ought to be getting 100% we'll find out in a little while Hi guys I just uh, finished putting together my uh, PTG long shot this is uh, version 2.1 and uh, version um, 2.5 I'll call it alright uh, the main differences I showed you earlier would be the dark gate and um, or rather dart guide and uh, the dart pusher design All right, um, this one here has a 14 last uh, stock long shot spring and uh, this one here has a 14 kg long shot spring that we get from Hanzo or Black Tactical as a uh, version 2 I'm just going to use my screwdriver and prime it first uh, we'll do an air seal test the air seal for this one is pretty much the same as earlier uh, it's decent, it's not perfect. The SO for the other one, however, is a lot better. Alright? So just listen to the sound, I'm not sure how clearly you can hear it. But the sound is a poof. Okay, one more time. Yep. It's not very good, but at least it gets satisfactory ranges. The sound. Alright. And you can hear the air being pushed out slowly. Alright, let's hear it again. It goes pop. Yep, heard that after I let go. Let's try that again. I'll let go. I'll count the three down, let go, alright? Oh, man. It's a little hard to prime this with a screwdriver. Okay, one, two, three. Yep, that's how good the seal is. Whereas in the other one, there's 14 kg stock. One, two, oh, nothing. It just will pop and uh, the rest of the air escapes. I'm not sure if it's because uh, the bolt here is already in pretty bad shape. Or it could be the plunger tube, which is not in very good shape either. Or maybe it's the seal between the bolt and the dark gate. I'm not sure which it is, but at least it still performs pretty pre pretty decent. Okay, I'm going to do a quick uh, firing demo. I'll be firing at the wall, which is uh, not very far from me. About uh, 2 meters. I'll probably get hit by the rebounds a lot. Let me just close the door. Um, yeah, this is a spare room. So, all my junk is here. Yeah, so, I'll be firing six darts. All these are random darts I picked up at the end of the game set holes in a Pub D box good. Alright. Okay. So first up, push, ouch, 
the dot actually broke in two and hit my fingers. Second dot, third dot, fourth dot, fifth dot, sixth dot. Much, much more reliable than earlier. I'll be firing off another um, two dots with this. Uh, Another six dots, same clip, and uh, a heavier duty long shot. 20 kilos with a screwdriver. There it goes! Uh. Oh, um, all the bolt sleds are reinforced with aluminum, so I'm not too worried about them snapping. First up. Okay, looks like my dart pusher needs to be tweaked a little. It seems to be catching darts here. Let's see what we can do about that. Second dart. Oh, that broke the tip off as well. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I've uh, shortened the dart pusher. Pump the clip with uh, six rounds. I'm not sure where the rounds are falling down. But uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, there we go. Six rounds. All these uh, random nuts that I picked up at the end of my games that are not clean. Okay, so they are poor condition darts, and I just want to show that even with terrible darts, this setup still fires. Yeah, I haven't put in all the screws, so. Some parts of my glass that's still a bit uh, wobbly. Right, first dart. Second dart. Third dart. Fourth dart. Fifth dart. All these are firing really, really hard. Uh, once again, let me show you uh, version nah. PTG. 